What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Matt's Mind here on the channel. This is the weekly Q&A series. If you guys want me to answer your question, put it down below in the comments. I'll get to it next week, of course, drop a like and subscribe. We didn't have one yesterday. We had a little more important video yesterday, so if you guys haven't checked it out, I do highly suggest giving it a good watch. It's a really good video. I spent a lot of time on it, so definitely go check it out. We're back here at episode number 62. Last week, we covered an Imperial playset gunship, which was pretty cool, and of course, my thoughts on the Bad Batch finale. Let's go ahead and get started with some of your questions for today. Fastbricks is asking, what do you want more, a Crosshair Legion battle pack or a Dark Troopers battle pack? So if being entirely honest, I really couldn't care less for the Dark Troopers. I think they're really cool. Obviously, we saw them in the Mandalorian, and I think the concept of them was super cool. I just don't really care for anything Mandalorian at this point. I'm not the biggest fan of the TV show as it stands right now. I would definitely much rather get a crosshair battle pack where it comes with him and the other troopers and his squad from the Bad Batch. To me, that's just more exciting. I could do more with those minifigures in a dark trooper minifigure battle pack, but nonetheless, I think both would be cool. I definitely would rather crosshair though. Martin is asking, what shelves do you recommend for displaying big Lego sets? So if I'm being entirely honest, I don't have a solution for you. I have these smaller Amazon, like sort of black plastic, ABS plastic, uh, shelves behind me and these do a pretty good job of displaying some bigger sets I think I have some of the modulars. I have the Bad Batch shuttle over there. They're okay I still haven't really found a good display option for bigger sets such as the gunship or the UCS Star Destroyer or whatever It may be however on the very top you might not be able to see I do have the brand new icons Harry Potter set up there Which does look really cool. I've usually put all the bigger ones on the very top levels So it does work out fairly well for this one. I just don't think it's the best solution I'm still trying to figure out what that best solution looks like for some of my bigger sets Chris Evans is asking, what movie would you like to act or cameo? Doesn't have to be Star Wars. The actor who plays Shang-Chi in the new upcoming MCU movie does sound a bit like you in the trailer. By the way, I totally agree with the fact that dieting and stretching is very important. Reaction last week's comment. Cool. Um, I actually haven't seen Shang-Chi yet. I do want to see it soon. I have a couple of friends I want to go with, so I'm waiting to see that. But what movie would you like to act or cameo in? Um, I mean, Star Wars would be cool. I feel like that would just be like a culmination of my hardcore love for the series. I think I would much rather maybe st do like a brief a cameo and maybe like a TV show. I think I, one of my favorite TV shows of all time is a show called Hawaii Five-0. It's a pretty famous show. You guys might've heard of it. It's not on anymore, but it would have been really cool to act or cameo in one of those, maybe be one of like the side characters for that episode or something like that. I mean, movies would be cool. And Star Wars would definitely be pretty unique, but I think I'd much rather go into like a realistic like drama TV series that would just be a little bit cooler. Time is asking, would you ever consider collecting themes other than Star Wars? I really do and don't, honestly. I think I mentioned in my last haul video, I kind of want to get into some Speed Champion stuff. That sounds kind of cool. I mean, I do collect other things other than Star Wars. Like we do have the Creator Expert modulars, obviously. I have the bookshop, the police station. I've yet to build Assembly Square. I also do collect some of the Harry Potter stuff. I got the uh, Weasley house and I also have, of course, the icon set right up top there. But obviously Star Wars is like the main thing here. I think I would definitely like to collect some older lines, like maybe some of the Lord of the Rings or even Indiana Jones. However, the price point for a lot of those sets just simply isn't something that I'm willing to justify at the moment. I think out of current sets though, I do want to collect all the Speed Champions cards. They look really cool. And I do like the sort of new, like sporty, really cool looking cars. So maybe if down the road, I'll do something along Speed Champions, but for the most part, it's gonna be Star Wars. General Kajoe is asking, in your mind, how do you make profit off of making your own Lego mocks? I've been getting into making mocks this past year. I was just wanting to know if there was any way to do that. So honestly, I don't think I've ever made a, mo a profit off of any of my mocks. Um, obviously, I've done Scarif, I've done Kessel, I've done Anaxis, and I've done Create. I don't think any of those ended up being more profitable than when I started. But in my opinion, I'm not doing it to make a profit. I'm doing it because I actually genuinely like to do it and like to make the videos and you know show you guys the progress. So the making the profit isn't really that much of a, a focal point when it comes to making the mock and planning it out. Um, I will say if you are looking to get extra money for the mock, obviously a job is going to help you out, doing some extra chores around the house, mowing lawn, shoveling driveways, whatever it may be, just do those things to get money. Um, however, a large area of profit for me is actually you guys. When I do the live streams and offer, you know, the different donation tiers that get you in the mock and commemorate you in the mock, those are actually big ways I do support the mock and stuff like that. And you also could try to look for sponsors. I am trying to actively find sponsors for the channel here. Of course, always looking for new deals and new opportunities to work with different brands out there. Um, so those are also very good ways to get money while you're making the mock. However, I've learned mocks are very expensive and honestly, I wouldn't prioritize making a profit. Um, I would just prioritize having fun and doing what you want. Uh, Tuscan Productions over here saying, us Tuscans don't get enough love. What future sets 
could you see Tusken Raiders in? I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't need more Tusken Raiders. You guys are already in the Mandalorian. Uh, what was it called? The, oh my gosh, the Trouble on Tatooine. I don't know. I mean, obviously, if there's some more like commemorative stuff from Tatooine, I would be okay with Tusken Raiders. I'm sorry. I just don't feel as strongly as you do. I think we're good on Tusken Raiders. BZ Bricks is asking, why do you think LEGO makes regular Stormtroopers so widely available and cheap, but not regular Phase 2 and Phase 1 Clone Troopers? Um, so, I mean, to be honest, they have done these in the past. I know it's been many years since we got Phase 2, so I definitely agree with you there. Obviously, a couple of years ago, we had the Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack, which was a fairly good way to get P1 Clone Troopers. I honestly just don't think LEGO, um, whether they don't like to do it or anything like that, I think it's more based off of what is most popular, obviously, for... The majority of people buying the Star Wars sets, obviously most of us are going to recognize a Stormtrooper, whereas maybe some of us might not recognize a Clone Trooper. It obviously also has to do with the current sets being produced. We do have Clone Troopers now, right? We have the 501st Battle Pack, the AAT, we have some Mandalore Troopers as well, but there also is the Mandalorian, which has Stormtroopers and is based in the original trilogy era. So I think it really depends on what sets are being produced at the time. I don't think it has anything to do with they like or dislike one or the other. I just think it's whatever content is uh, keen at that moment. I think they're gonna try to capitalize the best they can. Mandalorian Brick Studio is asking, if we were to get an Omega minifigure, what set do you think we would get her in? So Omega is a character I've actually been really looking forward to getting. I feel like it's only a matter of time before Lego does make an Omega minifigure, so I would not be surprised. And this is no, I don't have any information, but this is my pure uh, guesstimate. I would say by summer 2022, we will have an Omega minifigure, but I don't have any sources to confirm that. Back to the question, what set would I like to see her in? There's obviously a lot of opportunities from the Bad Batch. I think the set I'd most like to see her in would probably be something maybe along the lines of a little Camino set. I know obviously at the end of the season finale, she played a pretty big role in all that kind of stuff. Maybe a set that comes with Omega, AZ, maybe even some Camino guards or something like that. I think that would be the best option for me. Of course, there are other opportunities, like of course during the speeder chase with Fennec or any of the X amount of times Omega was showcased, I think would work just fine. I really don't care about the set specifically that she comes in. I just want an Omega minifigure. August is asking, are you excited for the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga game? Yes and no. I feel like we've been teased with this game for so many years now, and like when the trailer came out a couple of weeks ago, I, I didn't like bust over to watch it. Like I wasn't like getting out of my way, stopping what I'm doing, and dropping everything. Like I just I I know it's gonna be a fun game. I know I'm gonna have a fun time. I'm gonna do live streams here on the channel of it. But I just like I like the game. I love Lego Star Wars. I always will. But the amount of delays we've had at this point, when they're saying, oh, you know, spring 2020, up oh, spring 2021, up oh, spring 2022. It just gets annoying and it kind of detracts from my excitement of it. I know it's going to be a good game. I know it's going to be fun. I'm just not nearly as excited as I was when they initially announced it. And I'm just worried that's going to hinder my, I guess, enjoyment of the game. Garrett is asking a very good question here. What is better, chicken or steak for a taco? Now, for a taco, I say chicken. For a burrito, like a Chipotle burrito, I say steak. That's my own personal opinion. I think steak in a burrito, especially from Chipotle or even Cordoba, is top tier. Competi Stud is asking the last question for today. Do you think Lego Star Wars will ever end? And if so, when? So, I mean, the obvious answer to this is yes, eventually. Um, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Honestly, as more Disney Plus shows come out, the Acolyte, Acolyte, the Acolyte, the Obi-Wan, um, the new like anime Star Wars thing coming out, the Cassian show, whatever it may be, as long as there is more... Star Wars content being made, I don't see a reason why Lego Star Wars would stop. Even if so, I mean, Lego could go revisit a bunch of different sets they haven't made in a very long time. So I think there's always opportunity for more sets that Lego can make. I don't see Lego Star Wars going anywhere for the next 20-ish years. Um, however, obviously, if Disney decides to stop Star Wars, and there's no Star Wars, there's only so much Lego can do as a company um, to keep thriving off of Star Wars. So I think as more stuff comes out, as the hype continues to grow for Star Wars, for certain fans, I think Lego is fine. However, if we see a dramatic drop off in that, no more movies, no more content, whatever it may be, which I don't think is going to happen. Um, but anyways, if that does happen, then obviously, you know, Lego Star Wars might be in jeopardy. Guys, thank you for watching this episode of Matt's Mind. I hope you all enjoyed. If I didn't get to your question, drop it again down below in the comments. I'll try to get to it next week. We will be back 100%, I promise, every single Monday. So stay tuned for these videos every Monday. Thank you guys all for the amazing questions this week. Of course, drop a like. And I'll see you later. Take it easy. Peace.